Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, median uh, CD, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, BD is equal to the segment uh, AD, and moreover, uh, this side uh, BC is uh, 11 units. This side uh, AC is uh, 17 units and the median CD is 13 units and this whole side AB is X and now our task is to calculate the value of X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and we are going to solve for X by using this well-known Apollonius uh, theorem and here's our Apollonius uh, theorem for this uh, given triangle uh, ABC our Apollonius uh, theorem is going to be a square plus b square equals to 2 times uh, m square plus uh, d square where our this uh, side uh, BC is being represented by lowercase a our side uh, AC is lowercase b the median CD is uh, lowercase d and both of the segments uh, BD and AD are uh, M each. So therefore I'm going to label these uh, side lengths. I'm going to call uh, this side lowercase uh, a, this is lowercase b, this uh, median lowercase d, this uh, segment uh, BD is going to be lowercase m and this uh, segment AD is going to be lowercase m as well and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, m so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Apollonius uh, theorem our a value is 11 so I'm going to write down 11 uh, square plus uh, b square value is 17 so I'm going to write down 17 uh, square equals to 2 times uh, m square plus uh, our d value is 13 so i'm going to write down 13 square bracket closed let's simplify that's going to give us uh, 121 plus uh, 289 equals to 2 times uh, m square plus uh, 169 and in this uh, next step uh, the left hand side adds up to 410 and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 so therefore we are going to get uh, m square plus uh, 169 equals to 205 now we are going to subtract uh, 169 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, m square turns out to be equal to 36 and i'm going to undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our m value turns out to be positive uh, 6 uh, units so therefore our this m value turns out to be 6 and likewise uh, this segment uh, m value turns out to be 6 uh, as well so therefore our this whole x value is going to be some of these two numbers uh, 6 uh, plus 6 uh, is going to give us uh, x uh, equals to 12 so thus our x value turns out to be 12 units and that's our final answer and in this uh, next step I'm going to show you the proof uh, of this uh, Apollonius uh, theorem and I'm going to show you that the left hand side a square plus b square uh, is going to be equal to 2 times uh, m square plus d square for this given uh, triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are uh, a b and this uh, median is uh, lowercase d and these segments b d and uh, a d are uh, m each and this uh, next step i have dropped this uh, perpendicular c e on this side uh, a b and i'm going to label this perpendicular c e as uh, lowercase uh, h the height and furthermore, I'm going to label this uh, segment uh, ED as uh, X. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, segment uh, 
BE is going to be this whole segment uh, M minus this segment uh, X. So therefore this segment uh, BE is going to be equal to M minus uh, X and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is lowercase a our two other legs are m minus x uh, and uh, h let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, m minus uh, x whole uh, square plus uh, h square is going to be equal to a square and I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CED. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And once again, our Pythagorean theorem is uh, A square plus B square equal to C square. And for this uh, triangle, our hypotenuse is lowercase d, whereas our two other legs are uh, X uh, and uh, H. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have uh, x uh, square plus uh, h uh, square is going to be equal to d square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle AEC. And now let's make an observation. We can see this whole uh, AE side length is going to be m plus uh, x so therefore our this uh, side a e length is going to be m plus uh, x and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is lowercase b and our two other legs are uh, m plus x uh, and uh, h Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, m plus x uh, whole uh, square plus uh, h square is equal to b square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number three. And here we are ended up with these uh, three equations, equation one, two, and uh, three. And now let's focus on this uh, Apollonius theorem we are looking at uh, a square plus b square so therefore we are going to add these two equations number one uh, and three and here i have copied down uh, equation one uh, and three over here and now let's go ahead and add these uh, two equations and i'm going to add these uh, right hand sides first a square plus uh, b square so therefore i can write over here a square uh, plus uh, b square is going to be equal to and now let's uh, add the other ones uh, so this is going to be m minus uh, x uh, whole uh, square and plus likewise uh, m plus uh, x uh, whole uh, square and then plus uh, h square and h square is going to give us uh, two times uh, h square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial and likewise let's recall the other famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square and we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial as well so therefore uh, this equation could be written as a square plus b square is going to be equal to m square minus 2 times uh, mx uh, plus uh, x square plus likewise uh, m square minus plus rather 2 times uh, mx uh, plus uh, x uh, square and finally plus 2 times uh, h square and now we can see this 2mx and this negative 2mx they are gone as you can see in this uh, next step, let's combine the like terms, this m square and uh, x square as well. As you can see in this uh, next step, m square plus m square is going to give us 2m square. Likewise, x square plus x square is going to give us uh, 2x square as well. And now let's focus on these uh, two terms, uh, 
2x square plus 2h square. We are going to take uh, 2 as a common. So that is going to give us 2 times uh, x square plus uh, h uh, square. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's focus on this uh, equation too. We know x square plus h square equals to d square. And here we got uh, x square plus uh, h square. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, d square over here. So therefore we are going to have uh, a square plus b square equals to 2 times uh, m square plus uh, 2 times uh, this whole thing is uh, d square. And now let's focus on this uh, right hand side. I'm going to take uh, 2 as common over here. So therefore uh, this is going to give us uh, a square uh, plus b square equals to 2 times uh, m square uh, plus uh, d square. And this is what we're supposed to prove. Our left hand side a square plus b square uh, is going to be equal to 2 times uh, m square uh, plus uh, d square. And that's our uh, proof. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.